Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matthew over at Barn Fresh Classics here in Biddeford, Maine. Uh, today I've got a, this is not a Barn Fresh Classics vehicle. Uh, I'm actually trying to help a friend sell it. Uh, I don't know a super lot about this vehicle. Um, again, it's not being sold as Barn Fresh, so you will not get any deal of paperwork or anything like that. Uh, any dealings, any questions, you're going to want to give my buddy a call, uh, which I will display his phone number within whatever listing, wherever you see this. Um, and uh, yeah, again, like I said, I just don't know much about the vehicle, but just trying to help a friend out and uh, help him get it sold. Um, so I believe it's a 78 uh, a Land Cruiser. Um, it's pretty solid. Um, I've driven it a couple miles. Um, it does go down the road pretty nice. It's a four speed, it's got the six cylinder in it. Um, it's the frame solid underneath. It does have some blisters um, and, and some rust issues, which I will show you. Um, nothing that um, affects the, uh, the, the, the frame or anything like that. Um, really, it's just some blistering and uh, a couple rust spots in the, uh, in the, uh, the top. Uh, as far as the paint goes, um, I don't really know. It, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a single stage maybe or, or something like that. I don't really see a clear coat on it, but um, again, that's something that you can talk to the owner about uh, if you did have questions about it. Um, so uh, he has put a lot of recent work into it, which I will uh, list in the ad. Uh, I don't exactly know right off the top of my head. Um, let me see here. So just the, the, the rust issues I saw, um, there's one right there on the hood. Um, right here at the bottom of the driver's door. It's got some blistering down there. A couple have popped through. They're very, very small. Um, it's an issue up here. A couple blistering back here, a little bit of blistering. Um, but all the rust issues are, are like that. You know, they're just kind of coming through. A couple blisters here and there. Um, really nothing major. Again, underneath the frame, solid uh, from what I saw. Um, okay, you see a couple of rust issues. It's really a lot of the rust issues are actually in the top. Uh, but like I said, it's pretty solid underneath. I will have pictures uh, underneath the rig so you can you can see what it looks like. Um, yeah, I mean it looks like they're newer tires. Uh, I did check like headlights and the wipers, those things work. Again, I drove it down the road a little bit. Um, goes down the road nice, no power steering. Um, it's a four speed manual. I'll show you the interior here. Very utilitarian, uh, you know, interiors. Got a couple issues here and there. Uh, there's a rip in the uh, passenger seat. Speedo does work. All the, uh, the the fuel gauge and the uh, amp meter, temperature gauge, I, those I notice all do work. Can the wipers work and stuff like that? It's got the really cool fold down seats in the rear. Um, there is a rust issue up there. I have a better picture of it um, in the listing. So there really is kind of rust issues all around the top here. Um, but uh, yeah. Runs and drives good. I've been storing it for six or seven months and it fired right up, believe it or not. Uh, actually, I'll fire it up here for you. And it does start really easy. And again, I mean, it hadn't been started in, geez, six, seven, eight months. And uh, pumped it up, fired it up, and then I ran it for five, ten minutes. and had it over here and then it fires right back up no problem so can't look it does run good the brakes work um again you know it just i just don't know super a lot about it just helping a friend sell this He's a very busy man so i figured i would just uh get pictures get video and put it up online for him so again you know any questions um you know any concerns you're gonna want to call the number that's listed in the ad, it'll go directly to him, um, and he'll be able to answer any questions that you may or may not have. Pretty cool rig, they are pretty rare, you don't see a whole lot of them. They do pull big money at uh, at auctions. This one I would say is really just driver quality. 
but I mean, if you're looking for one, I mean, you might be, you know, if you're looking for a good candidate for a ground up restoration, I mean, this is pretty, pretty good candidate. But, you know, you can drive it around as is right now. So there you go. Again, if you have any questions, uh, do not contact me because I don't know much about it. So you're going to want to contact the number in the ad. And you can ask all the questions you want. You'll have all the answers for you. Alright guys, thanks a lot.